जाते आवे प्यार दुनिया शाह जाते
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हा हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हा हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे What do you want? Ask Puri Romeo Makele. Where do you want? Where do you want? Where do you want? Where do you want? So which one do you want then? Don't sing 50 paragraph on us. Why we don't sing? Is it not supposed to sing? No, we can sing. This is from um, Lokan. Uh, this is based on Lokan and Goswami. Narutan Das Thakur's uh, This is, you know, heard about Prem Bhakti Chandrika. It's a song book by Narutan Das Thakur. So this is the first song in that book. And Prabhupada took like first four paragraphs I saw. And sing everything. But everything is by the last time. Yes. If we make like long 10 paragraph every day, it's Bhagavatam class. <laughs> Bhagavatam class. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu also keeps paragraph we skip. That's because in my book they skip. I don't know why. But no, it's perfect. It's some about Gadadhar and. Huh? Some say In my book. Not my book. Yeah, I mean. They are not outside Gaudiya Parampara. This is a tradition. Okay, which next bhajan? Huh? That we said last time, right? Some, something new. Mahaprabhu Bhakti Chandra Bhakti and songs are very difficult. Yeah. Well, how does it start? I think you all only have to sing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does it go with three beats? We don't know.
ऐसा ही है ना चलाएंगे
One who killed the demon Mura. Please abide in the temple of my heart both day and night. O Krishna Murari. O Sri Krishna Murari. Devotion now. Lord Garlands and Sandalwood, please accept them. No delight of the night. In life or in death, I worship you with these offerings, beautiful men, who enchanted of the mother. Thomas, Sana, Nanda, and then O Sana, Nanda, I will offer you a ceremony with the lamp and of my mother. The waters of the Yamuna River cascade incessantly from my eyes in your celebration. O holder of gold, Nanda. Any song on Karuna? Karuna? Hello. 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 Hello
लास्ट केवल आनंद मुखे बोलो बोलो जो रे 
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैता हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति गायते यदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिण परमानंद श्री चैतन्यश्वर लॉट ऑफ मैसेज इज वेरी लेस टू मी लो ट्राई प्रोजीज आर ऑन स्ट्राइक आई थिंक वी डोंट हैव संदन गोपाल प्रभु देन वी डोंट हैव समीर प्रभु नरेश प्रभु या नरेश प्रभु प्लीज स्टैंड हां दे वेंट टू इंडिया जस्ट यू दे वेंट व्हेन आर दे कमिंग बैक नरेश प्रभु एंड सर ओ आफ्टर देयर मैच Uh, where were we? Krishna consciousness by his own effort, but out of causeless mercy, Lord Krishna compiled the Vedic literature. 
and its supplements are Puranas. Philosophy is like, na, even if we discuss it, doesn't, doesn't, okay, we'll go, sir. I think we discussed quite a bit. What about this? However, if you dig a small quantity of dirt on the eastern side, this we discussed, right? How about this? The goal, the goal of love of Godhead is not to become materially rich or free from material bondage. The real goal is to be situated in devotional service of the Lord and to try enjoy transcendental bliss. <laughs> this we discussed. One is automatically liberated from material enjoyment. One one day is the service of Krishna. I remember this. Anyone else remember this? You can read as many times it seems like this. That's why. Nobody remembers this. I remember when one when one is automatically liberated from material enjoyment, when one takes the service of vision. We'll go a little further, then you will probably feel. Padma Puran. This we discussed, right? I should plan before and what we discussed so that you don't feel like, oh no. <laughs> there, huh? We, we discussed. How many of you remember? We discussed this. Two devotees were there. Three were there. Others were physically there. I think we discussed this one. Huh? Ponds. She's selling, I cannot see. That's why I can only call you. <laughs> 151. What about this? Yeah. yeah. Until this we discussed? Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. So this is where we have to start. <laughs> 153. There may be some technical discussions today about different forms of Krishna. One who analytically studies the purpose of the Vedas understands that by Karma Kanda, sacrificial activity, one comes to the conclusion of Jnana Kanda, speculative knowledge, and that after speculation, one comes to the conclusion that worship of the Supreme Personality of God is the ultimate. When one comes to this conclusion, he becomes fully satisfied. Understood? From Karma Yoga, we go to Jnana Yoga. Jnana Yoga leads to Bhakti Yoga. And when one starts Bhakti Yoga, one is fully satisfied. <laughs> The transcendental form of Lord Krishna is unlimited and also has unlimited opulence. He possesses the internal potency, external potency, and marginal potency. Krishna Sarup Ananta. Sarup Ananta means. Yeah. Unlimited yeah. forms and Vaibhav Anand Apara means unlimited opulence. What is Chitta Shakti, Maya Shakti, and Jiva Shakti? <coughs> Chitta Shakti is internal potency, Antaranga Shakti. Maya Shakti is external and Jiva Shakti is marginal. Now, now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going to describe about Lord Krishna. And how that one supreme personality of Godhead has unlimited forms and unlimited opulences. And then he has unlimited potencies like internal, external, and jiva shakti. That's why this is this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is Sanatan Siksha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is describing about Krishna Tattva to Sanatan. Who is Krishna? And 
he will also come to the point of how Krishna has Ananta Sodhi, unlimited forms. That will be our, may be our main discussion. Vaikuntha Brahmanda Gyan Sekti Karya Swarupa Sekti Sekti Karya Krishna Samas Sayya. The material and the spiritual world are transformations of Krishna's external and internal potencies respectively. Therefore, Krishna is the original source of both the material and the spiritual manifestations. Spiritual world is manifestation of Krishna's external energy. He is known as Krishna. He is the ultimate source of all universes. Let me open my obeisance system. Shiva Swami's commentary is Shiva Swami. Then, there is a description after the book of Shiva So, have you heard about the 10 topics of Bhagavatam? 10 topics of Bhagavatam. No? Wow, uh, that's amazing. Aage bolo. Where is it from? <laughs> Tent chat. This is a description by Brahma to Narada. After Chattu Shloki Bhagavata, then Brahma described Narada about. Then Narada asked Brahma, what did you heard from Narada? Then Brahma described the Chattu Shloki Bhagavata into 10 topics. Among them, the 10th topic is Ashray Tattva. Ashray means child. So in the beginning of 10th canto, Sridhar Swami describes that now we are going to discuss about the Ashray Tattva Shri Krishna. Everything is resting under the lotus feet of Krishna. In Srimad Bhagavad Gita, it is stated Samashikaye Padapallava Plavam Mahat Padam Punya Yasho Murani. Under the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, the entire Mahat Tattva is existing. Since everything is under Sri Krishna's protection, Sri Krishna is called Ashraya Tattva. Everything else is called Ashrita Tattva. The material creation is also called Ashrita Tattva. Liberation from material bondage and the attainment of the spiritual platform are also Ashrita Tattva. Krishna is the only Ashrita Beautiful, right? So nice. Everything is resting under the lotus feet of Krishna. Ashrita Tattva means whom we can take Ashrita. Ashrita Tattva means one who takes Ashrita. Even liberation, material, everything is takes ashray under Krishna. But Krishna is ashray Krishna. Amazing. Is the absolute king, devoid of purity, but present in Vrindavana as the son of Nanda Krishna Surupa Vichara Sono Sanatan. Itna Sundar actually. Itna Mahaprabhu is telling Krishna Surupa Vichara Sono Sanatan. Now I will describe to you about Krishna Surupa. Is Chitana Mahaprabhu telling to Sanatan Goswami? Now he is Sanatan. He is devoid of all duality. Advaita Gyana Tattva Braje Brajendra Nanda. Yeah, 
Krishna is the original source of the and the sum total of the He appears as a supreme being, and his whole body is composed of spiritual things. He is a shelter of everything and a master of everything. Advaitam Atritam Anandi Anandi Vibhvam Atritam Shantam Although he is the supreme source of everyone, he is still always a fresh. Mm. What does Advaita mean? He is the absolute truth. What does Achyutta mean? Ah, he can never fall. What does Anadim mean? Ah, he has no beginning. And Anantaru. Advaita Machyutta Manadi Ananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purusham Nava Yavan and he is the oldest. Purana Purusham Nava Yavan and he is the most grateful. He is the oldest but he is most fresh. Oldest but most fresh. His whole body is composed of Chidananda Dev. This word Chidananda comes somewhere else also. Huh? Uh, but the one Chidananda Dev means Krishna's body is full of bliss. There is one more place Chidananda comes. Description of one more devotee of Braj. One more devotee of Braj also mentions Chidananda. We discussed this in the past three years back. Last week, the This description of mother. Why? Uh, mother Yamuna. That verse is there. I am not remembering. Chidananda. Huh? Yamuna, Mother Yamuna. The, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took his first bath in Yamuna, then he sang this verse. It is said the water of Yamuna is full of bliss. And Lord Krishna's body is also full of bliss. The original Supreme Personality of Godhead is Krishna. The original name is Govinda, which follows all the offenses in the eternal abodes of the soul of Godhead. There is nothing that we don't know, right? We know. But it's so attractive to hear, isn't it? We know somebody who is God, Krishna is God. But it's just the sweetness that is coming from Chaitanya Charitamrita. His original name is Govinda. Original name is Govinda. Govinda or Krishna, same. He has, he is called by all the names. Original names. Original. <coughs> so I am Bhagavan Krishna. So I am Bhagavan is Krishna. And Govinda Paranam. And his, one of his greatest name is, one of his great name is Nam, is Govinda. Original doesn't, same. They are primary names. Everybody understood this? There are three parts to make spiritual problems. One is the path of Path of Jnana, then Yoga, and then Bhakti. 
those who take the path of Jnana Yoga, their destination is Brahmavadi. Those who take the path of Yoga, mystic Yoga, their destination is Super Soul. They realize the Lord is Super Soul. Enough. Those who take the path of Bhakti, they realize Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, Govinda, Rajendra, Nanda, Nanda Kumar, Tumi, Sarvesh, Vareshwar. This we all know. Vadanti Tattva Tattva Vadanti Tattva Vidas Tattva Yajjana Madhvayam Brahmeti Paramatmeti Madhavani Tishabhyate Brahma, Sangha, Kanti, Sandra, Nirvi, Sheksa, Prakase, Udhya, Yena, Sherma, Chekse, Jyotir, Maya, Ase. The manifestation of the impersonal Brahman effulgence, which is without variety, is the race of Krishna's bodily effulgence. It is exactly like the sun. When the sun is seen by our ordinary eyes, it appears to consist simply of reflection. Okay. Nirvishesha Prakash. The Brahman is the effulgence of Krishna's body. It is like the difference between sun and sun rays. Sun is like Krishna and sun rays is like Brahman. Yasya Prabha Prabhavata Jagandha Koti Kori Ashesha Vashuddha Divibhuti Lingam Tadram Manishkara Mandanta Mashesha Bhutan Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamam Bajami Ashesha Govinda, the primal Lord, who is endowed with great power, knowing effulgence of his transcendental form is the Impersonal Brahman, which is absolute, complete, and unlimited, and which displays the varieties of countless planets with their different opulences in millions and millions of years. So, what does it mean? Yes, yeah, Prabha. Prabha means. Prabha means. Uh, and yes, yeah, means. Your effulgence. It's Brahma praying to Krishna. Yes, sir. Prabha Prabhavato Jagad and the Koti means light to entire universe. <laughs> yeah. And also entire universes are within that Prabha. They are very in that in your effulgence lies, it gives light also. But in, in that lies all the unlimited universes, which displays the varieties of countless. Countless planets. Ashesha Vishudadi Vibhuti Binda. But Govinda is the source. The Paramatma, the super soul teacher, is a feminine portion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, who is the original soul of living entities. Krishna is the source of Paramatma. Mm. So Paramatma is the source of Krishna is also Paramatma. This is mentioned. <laughs> and Paramatma is a plenary portion of Krishna. Jagat. <laughs> Dikhaya, so, so, 
you should know Krishna to be the original soul of all Atmas. For the benefit of the whole universe, he has out of his causeless mercy appeared as an ordinary human being. He has done this by the strength of his own internal potency. This is quotation from Shiva's Bhagavatam, Pera Kuti Vakti Parikshit Maharaja asked Sukadeva Goswami why Krishna was so beloved by the residents of Rindavan, who loved him even more than their own of offspring or life itself. Who understood this? He is the soul of all the souls. And in his original form, he manifests like an ordinary human being. <laughs> That time, Sukhdeva goes for me, replied that everyone's Atma or soul is very, very dear, especially to all living entities who have accepted material bodies. But the Atma, the spirit soul, is part and parcel of Krishna. For this reason, Krishna is very dear to every living entity. Everyone's body is very dear to oneself. And one wants to protect the body by all means, by because... Within the body, the soul is living. Due to the intimate relationship between the soul and the body, the body is important and dear to everyone. Similarly, the soul, being part and parcel of Krishna, the Supreme Lord, is very, very dear to all living entities. Unfortunately, the soul forgets his constitutional position and thinks he is only the body. Understood the analogy? Why we love the body so much? Because we want to protect the soul. And because the I mean the soul is possessing this body. That's why we love the body so much. Likewise, when we realize that Krishna is a possessor of the soul, then we will love Krishna that much also. We are going one level deeper. That we have the natural natural it's natural for us. To love Krishna more than our own body and more than anybody who is related to us. It is natural because he is the soul of the soul. Another way to put also is people are very much attached to their bodies right? because they identify themselves with the body. But those who understand they are not this body, then they get attached to self-realization of the soul. But those who realize Krishna is the source, then they become attached to Krishna more than anything else. So Parikshit Maharaj is asking, why is it that everybody in Vrindavan love Krishna more than themselves and more than their own kinsmen? Then Krishna is describing because Krishna is the source of the soul. The reason why one loves the body and why one loves the soul. But when they realize, because they have forgotten who Krishna is, the source of everything. That's why they are loving either the body or the, or the self. But actually when they realize that love for Krishna is greater than anything else. One's own body and other living beings. Clear? No. Bhakti, Bhagavani, Anubhava, Purna Rupa, Ekai, Vidhirati, Sandra, Ananta Swarupa. Only by the devotional activity. Can one understand the transcendental form of the Lord? It is perfect in all respects. Although his form is one, he can expand a form into unlimited number of numbers by his supreme will. So he is he has one form, but that form is expanded into unlimited. And only by bhakti can one understand how one Krishna has so many forms. So we will see how many of you carry how much bhakti you can understand how Krishna has so many forms. Complex. 
Then we begin. <laughs> This form is also described in Shiva Bhara of Krishna's Mirava The third Eta Narita forms exist simultaneously with this Swayam Rishwa form and are not different. At the same time, with worldly features and specific activities appear to be different. The third Ekatma Rupa forms are divided into two categories, Swamsa and Vinasa. So first we read everything and then I explain. <laughs> we'll come later. Swayam Rupa is divided into Vaibhava and Prakash. <coughs> Let's read one more slide. You all will understand by reading. Non differences indicated in the sense that all the form of the Lord are perfect. The difference is the difference in manifestation of powers. Adekatma Rupa is divided into two categories, Vilasa and Swamsa. Vilasa is defined as follows manifests almost similar qualities as Swamsha Rupa. The form which is different from the original form of performing different pastimes and which is very slightly less in quality is called the Vilasa form. I think first we should discuss this. Much. So, in how many ways Krishna divides himself primarily? Is Ananta Sarupa divided in? See, what is the first form? First Swayam Rupa. What is Swayam Rupa means? <coughs> original. Okay. And what is the definition of Swayam Rupa? No, based on Rupa goes. Definition of Swayam Rupa. That form is not dependent on any other. Independent. Completely independent. Okay, good so far. Swayam. Swayam means self. So Swayam Rupa. Then the second is Tadekatma Rupa. What is Tadekatma Rupa? Like the same, but same. Rupa form exists simultaneously with the Soyam Rupa. Yes, everything comes from Soyam Rupa form. Okay, Tadikatma Rupa manifests from Soyam Rupa form. But they exist simultaneously with Swayam Rupa form. Ah, we'll come. We'll come to it. At the same time, their bodily features and specific activities appear to be different. They look different. They are specific. I, I'll tell examples for everyone. Just in five minutes. You know? But first definition and then we come to examples. Then it will be clear. <laughs> So, tadekat, um, at the same time, their bodily features and specific activities appears to be different. Bodily features appears to be different. Maybe like Varaha. So, his bodily features are different from Krishna. His activities is different than Krishna. But he is manifesting from Soyam Rupa. Soyam wow. <laughs> The Tadekatma Rupa are divided into two categories, Swamsa and Vilas. And the difference between them Non-difference is indicated in the sense that all the forms of the Lord are perfect. In that way, they are non-different. Swayam Rupa and Tadekatma Rupa are non-different in the way that all the forms are perfect. 
that's all they're not. But there is difference. There is difference in features and activities. Okay. The difference is in the difference in the in manifestation of powers. So Swayam Rupa is most complete. Others have lesser qualities, lesser powers. The Tadikatma Rupa is divided into two, Vilas and Swamsa. So Swayam Rupa, Tadikatma Rupa, Vilas and Swamsa and Avesh we understand. We'll hear those. Avesh means uh, Avesh means uh, Avish huh? empowered. Yeah. Thank you, please. <coughs> Vilas is defined as follows. Manifest almost similar qualities as Soyam Rupa. That form which is different from the original form. This from Lagu Bhagavatam Rita. That form which is different from the original form for performing different pastimes and which is slightly less in quality is called the Vilas form. So, what is the difference between Swamsa and Vilas Tadekatma Rupa? Vilas means that form which is different from original form for performing different pastimes and which is slightly less in qualities is called the Vilas. Matlab, Swayam jaisa hai, par thoda sa kam hai qualities. Vilas. Or Vilas se bhi kam quality mein hai Swam. Abhi... Sorry, Pandra Govind, you know, what can I do? In Narayan and Krishna, def definition is there. But others, if there is no definition like what qualities exist in Matsya that does not exist in Kurma and Vaisalas. The only difference is Krishna and Narayan. But others are also lesser. But the qualities in Narayan are more than qualities in Matsya. That is mentioned. So, Narayan is Tad Ekatma Rupa Vilas. And Matsya is Tad Ekatma Rupa Swams. Please raise your hand if you understood. Understood it. Some of Yes. Look at or is Ten more minutes of awake. All right. Ready? So, <coughs> three main forms. One is Swam. Swam Rupa. Swam Rupa is actually two categories. What are those? Huh? Hold the next slide pe na bye. Run. Pehle ye slide to khatam kar. So I am so I am Rupa. So so I am Rupa. Okay, one second. Prabhav and Vaibhav. Take off. Dwara se. Ready? Toh mein kaam karte hai. Quickly. How do I open a no notepad? Actually, it can be no, when the search comes, it can be no. Please, I'm confused. 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 I'm
बहुत सिंपल वे में <coughs> स्वयं एस टू फॉर्म्स व्हाट आर दोस वैभव एंड प्रभाव एंड स्वयं इज आल्सो कॉल्ड प्रकाश सो इट बिकम्स वैभव प्रकाश एंड इट बिकम्स प्रभाव प्रकाश दे बोथ आर पार्ट ऑफ स्वयं एंड व्हाट द स्वयं मींस ओरिजिनल सो वैभव कम्स कृष्णा हिमसेल कृष्णा लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन कृष्णा इन रास लीला कंप्लीट मैनिफेस्टेशन है स्वयं कंप्लीट मैनिफेस्टेशन वेन ही लुक्स अ लाइक एंड हिज एक्टिविटीज आर अलाइक देन ही इज कॉल्ड वैभव प्रकाश एग्जैक्टली लाइक कृष्णा लाइक इन रास लीला नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू कृष्ण ऑल आर सेम और अनदर एग्जाम्पल गिवेन इज कृष्णा इन द्वारका वेन नारद मुनि वेंट then krishna manifested in all the queens homes right same dwarka krishna manifested into 16108 forms so there also example of vaibhav clear and then prabhava is same krishna direct but different activities and looks and the example come here is balaram he is there is no difference between krishna and balaram right swayam bhagwan only balaram but his activities and complexion and color everything is different but he and them they both come under swayam swayam form so if we remove the word prakash just to so swayam is divided into two one is vaibhav and one is prabhava any difficulty in this so far so swayam means prabhu full krishna hai na prabhava means he is full krishna but different from krishna in activities and looks so balram activity is different from krishna's activity and balram look is also different from krishna but he is swayam krishna full non different from krishna swayam means who is the original so balram and krishna both comes in that form but one looks exactly as krishna and activities as krishna like ras leela with cowherd boy is eating and we have question ha both krishna and balram 64 policy clear any question on this when the principal other information is abhi abhi nahi others are not equal so much place no yes he has his rasa leela also everything most beautiful also that's why the gopis and krishna and ram they always have the krishna and ram when they say about beauty they say krishna and ram but their heart is for krishna and some of the gopis heart is for balram but beauty also both cannot compare both are so beautiful let's understand people for only that is No, Balram also sixty percent. Correct. Both no different. Both are same Bhagwan. No, only Krishna and Balram are sixty. But who comes under the Bhagwan? No, no mention. No mention. Okay, good. Are we? Huh. No, Balram is there. Okay. They will not be very happy with you. <laughs> both are original. Both are there. You mean Brahman Nepal Jains? Yes. Well, there is no difference between Krishna and Balram. Other than color and activities and the mood, same so I am bothered. Both. Alright. Huh? 
She is asking this. If I just comes only from Krishna, not from Bang Balaram. I mean, I cannot answer this because I haven't read specifically on that, but I can say that absolutely no difference between. And we have to stick to the twelve. Okay, clear so far? Okay. Then there is third Ekatma Rupa. How many types they are? Ah, what are those? Vilas and Swamsa. And Swamsa is little less than Vilas. And Vilas is little less than Swayam Rupa. Are we clear with this? And the example of this is Narayan. Narayan does not have four qualities Krishna has, little less. And the example of this is we discuss Matsya. No ground Probably Vilas. Because if he has lesser qualities than Narayan, then Swamsa. Otherwise, Vilas. I think it should be Vilas. But we double check. There is there a slide from Bhakti. Only one person is not there. But the Sakya is in Gaurav. And Vasalya is again not that intimate. Like Madhuri, Shoda, and Nanda. So it's there. One is Madhuri is also there in that way. But it's not the same sweetness. So can we read the slide again once? Clear so far? This? Okay. Let's see again. Non-difference. Okay. So, tad, tad ekatma rupa is non-different from swaya. Non-difference is indicated in the sense that all the forms of the Lord are perfect. Means Krishna is perfect. Narayan is also perfect. In that way, Narayan and Krishna are both non-different. The difference is a difference in manifestation of powers. Tad ekatma rupa is divided into categories vilas and swamsa. Swamsa manifests almost similar quality as swayam rupa. Almost similar means not equal. Almost similar. Place Chonsat or Sat, 64 and 60, almost similar. That form which is different from the original form for performing different pastimes and which is very slightly less in qualities is called Vilas form. Clear? Same as Krishna, but slightly less than Krishna in quality. That is Vilas. Just as the Lord in the spiritual sky, Narayan, is the Vilas form of Govinda, so Vasudev is the Vilas form of the Lord in the spiritual sky. Original Narayan in Vaikuntha. Vasudev is also Vilas. Because it's Narayan. <coughs> I mean, in a way, um, it is said that Vasudev and Narayan are similar. So that's why Vasudev also sometimes exhibits four hands. So they are considered on equal level. Vasudev and Narayan interchange, they say. All right. So we saw that Narayan converted into Vasudev Krishna. So they are considered at non different And they are both considered Vilas. Swamsa is defined as manifest lesser qualities compared to Vilas. Definition of Swamsa, the form which is similar to Vilas form but manifests fewer powers than the Vilas form is called Swamsa. Examples are the Forms of Sankarshan and Matsa and their abodes in the spiritual world. The Gubhagatam. Clear? Sankarshan and Matsya are considered as lesser qualities than compared to Narayan and Vasudev. Mahavish. He is Vilas. Swamsa is Matsya Sankarshan. 
Swayam is Krishna and Balaram. We'll do this as all avatars will come under Swamsa. Ah, yes, Prabhu. Swamsa and Vilas, all the incarnations. Swamsa, Tadekatma Rupa, or Vilas, Tadekatma Rupa. All the incarnation of Krishna comes there. Only Krishna and Balaram comes in Swayam Rupa. Okay. Extensions of Balaram, the Swayam Rupa. Yes. Yeah, because Sankarshan not as many powers as Swayam Balaram. The same. Definition of Avesh, exalted jivas empowered by the Lord with portions of his powers, such as knowledge, are called Avesh. Avesh means empowered. Avesh are of two types, primary Avesh and secondary Avesh. Primary ones are like Rishabdev and they identify, and they identify themselves with Supreme Lord. Secondary are like Narada Kumaras. They identify themselves differently. When Swayam Rupa manifest, Okay. Primary Avesh and secondary Avesh clear? Primary Avesh means empowered. Among them, some of them are empowered in such a way that they are Jiva Tattvas, but they themselves identify them. They are so empowered that they identify themselves as non-different from the Lord also. But they are Jiva. And the example given is? Rishabdev. Rishabdev is? We, we, we tell it's incarnation of Krishna, right? We tell. But it's Jiva. That's why it's called Avesh, but it's primary Avesh. They are so much empowered that he's almost like Krishna. And Narada never considers himself equal to Krishna. Four Kumaras never considers equal to Krishna. But they are secondary Avesh. Ah, different empowerment on them. Some are primary and some are secondary. Good. We'll cover this slide only. When Soyam Rupa manifests into, into many forms, like when his different gopis like Radha, Chandravali or Rukmini, etc., it is called Prakash, not to be counted in Taddekatma or Avish. This is Soyam Prakash. Soyam Rupa is also called Prakash. The Prakash form of Krishna not considered among these types. Tadekatma Rupa, they are non different from the Swayam Rupa. Means that Krishna with Radha Rani, Krishna with Chandravali, they are not they are not considered under Tadekatma Rupa. Tadekatma Rupa is lesser. But they are Swayam Prakash means they are non different from Krishna. So they are not considered in the category of Avishatta Dekatma, but they are non different from Krishna. Huh? Rukmini also. Rukmini, she is not Gopi. Dwarka Gopi, Dwarka Queen. <laughs> <laughs> so let's continue Prakash are of two types Prabhava Prakash and Vaibhava Prakash that we discuss little bit and more on this we discuss next week more clarity on Bhakti so some idea of what is Sanatana Mahaprabhu telling about how that same Krishna Govinda original has Ananta Swarup and how his Sarup is divided into categories and subcategories and sub subcategories. Everything Krishna is the original Bhagavan. Everything is part and parcel. Whether it is Shakti Tattva also comes from Krishna, Jiva Tattva also comes from Krishna. That is Swayam. Oh. They are non-different. Like if you consider that other lamp as what? You mean the incarnation or? Uh, so they are non-different and they are different. They are non-different from the perspective. They are all perfect. 
and they're different from the perspective, there is lesser qualities. It's an example to understand, but it is not that Krishna and Naran exactly same. So that's why it's considered non-different, but then there is different. <laughs> okay, all right. Abhi kya na? Abhi aada chan kya na? Next week we will discuss some more. <coughs> and then probably. Do not see Vilas and Swamsa. Prabhu Swamsa. Vilas is lesser than Swayam and Swamsa is lesser than Vilas. So Vilas is Narayan. Vasudev. And uh, Swamsa is Matsya and Sankarsh. <laughs> They all come, Balram also comes from Krishna, but he is a Swayam Rupa expansion of Krishna. But original is Govinda. Everything comes from him. Chitta Shakti, Maya Shakti, Shakti Tattva, Jiva Tattva, all Tattvas, all living entities, all incarnation that Rajendra Nandana Krishna is the source. And he has Ananta Suri. So all this expansion comes from Balram or directly from From Balram. I mean, you see from based on that. Yes. Yes. From Maha, from second quadruple expansion. Ah, then comes the second. <laughs> two times it comes that's because in Mathura there is Vasudev in Mathura there is Balram in the form of Sankarshan Sankarshan is also Balram's form but it's Vilas and then when Krishna goes to Dwarka Again, Vasudev Krishna is there and Mahasankarshan is there. And then from Dwarka we go to Vaikuntha. Then from this Mahasankarshan comes Nala. So Vrindavan to Mathura, Sankarshan and Vasudev. Mathura to Dwarka, another Sankarshan and Vasudev. Then Dwarka below is Vaikuntha. Then comes Nala. So first quad reference corresponds to Mathura, second to Dwarka. And then corresponds to Vaikun. So if you see logically, then Narayan comes from the after Dwarka. But Anand, so there are millions of universes, and we are one tiny living entity in this huge universe, like there are millions of universes, and we are calling out to that Vajendra and Nanda Krishna in Goloka. And then we say. Please bring us back. <laughs> only in the material world. Only in material world. Only in the material world. Only in the material world. Only in the material world. Yes. I was talking to one Kala Mazi. There is one lady. We want to start a program there. So she is Sri Sampradaya. So I said, uh, she told me, Hare Krishna Prabhu, we are Sri Sampradaya. I said, no problem. <laughs> then she said, um, I said, who is Narayan? Sri Sampradaya. Initiated from Chiranji? Chiranji. Chiranji Swami. Yeah. So I said, so who is Narayan? On phone only he had conversations. And then the answer was, he is the source of creation. I said, perfect. That's what you also say, right? <laughs> he's a source of creation. She said, our Guru there says he's a source of creation. I said, we say the same thing. But then he didn't say, there is his creator also. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, he's also creation. Perfect. <laughs> so, 
authentic information gurudev is giving to them and next step of path is one clarification as to the vacha patita patalan anybody would like to define machine card <laughs> Actually, first time when I read this, I could not understand. By all of your mercy, I'm getting a feel. Oh. So maybe we do I think with time, na somehow Krishna has must. I don't know how much So who is singing Nashing Arti? Sad. Sorry. If you are very hungry, please start. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 